Hey, how's it going? I've put some videos on in the past on hooking a DSLR up to a telescope. I got a Solstron Nexstar 130 SLT here, 5 inch. I don't have a tripod or anything in here. I'm just trying to show you what you need to do to hook this thing up to a, a DSLR. You have your normal focus here where you stick your eyepiece in. Uh, 1.25 inch eyepiece and right here is the adapter for say to run a 2 inch in so you're going to need these components or at least this one and you get your DSLR whether it's a Canon, Nikon, whatever FX format or full frame now there's two ways to run it you can you can run it prime or you can run it with lenses inside of it such as these. Me, preferably, I like using it with the lenses for different varying magnification and I actually to me you don't you don't lose much if anything you gain on it. First step you're gonna have to do is you get a, a T-ring adapter set for your camera and I had bought a kit that actually came with this set up here four pieces. Your T-ring and this outer sleeve and this one here is to hold your 1.25 inch lenses and then a setup for a prime installation to run it without any lenses. The first step you're going to do is I'm going to be using a 9 millimeter and we're going to be shining this at the moon and Jupiter just to show you what it's like and how it does. You end up putting that down inside The holder. Now this part here will end up going on and I put it all the way down on there and tighten up the set screws. Now your T-ring goes on to your camera but first take it and screw it on. Set up here. Now next is the important one. Like I said your normal uh, eyepiece holder you got setting in your scope like that. This part is going to come off. Which holds your eyepieces. And this part here that goes in is going to screw on the end of your eyepiece holder for the kit you bought. Now your T-ring will go on to the camera. And there's your setup. You got your adjustment and you can interchange uh, any lens in there. Generally I run with the 15 millimeter on up to 25. Anything that'll fit down inside that, that holder for that kit you bought, which I provided links on my other videos for that kit, but if somebody's asking, there are numerous ones on eBay. You can go spend a lot of money for one or buy a cheapie from China, in all honesty. This is a cheapie from China, it's the same damn thing as the more expensive ones. Now, to run prime, your focal length on your reflector telescopes are generally too much. To actually run it prime, your, your camera cannot get close enough to the scope. I have to actually cheat to get this to work on this camera. Maybe a different reflectors will have different outcome like say a faster one f4.9 or whatever but do that you're gonna have just your t-ring t adapter and your adapter to run it down to 1.25 inches and then you have to use your lens holder for your telescope remember this went on just like this screwed in and set in there the only way to get it to work is to run a Barlow and this is a two power Barlow lens. Now in theory you think, which I do believe some scopes it'll work, just put your uh, lens holder back on, you put it in and then you got your Barlow sticking in like this, tightening down and your other piece you got for Prime that you got with that kit or if you have to buy one separate, you attach that to your T-ring and that goes right onto your camera. Like I said, in theory, at least with this scope, you think you should be able to slide this thing right in and you'd be for prime focus. But I can't get the camera close enough to it even with the two power Barlow on there. So what I did is take this piece off. I needed to get, get everything closer to the telescope. 
basically just pull the screw off here and instead of putting it in this way I'm gonna screw it on this way till it locks tight. Now I'm gonna put that into the telescope and run my Barlow in there. Now the only thing is you're gonna have a hard time keeping this from spinning because they took that set screw out of there. But with it sitting up you literally just put your camera in and when your scope's there you could maybe put a little bit of electrical tape on or something around it like right there. I found it just sets just perfect without much movement at all. It might start tipping down a little but when you got your scope tipped up it actually stays put but that's the only way I can get prime to work and as you'll see in the video I don't even really care for the prime it don't seem to work that well but anyways we're gonna head out and I'm gonna show you what you can expect out of looking through a DSLR into the telescope we'll start out with that nine millimeter lens we'll be using a Kenko Teleplus MC7 teleconverter to double the focal length of the image while I'm out there having a digital camera hooked up to the telescope. Let's go. Alright, got it all set up. Look, like I said I got the Celstron 130 SLT and below my cover here I got two 6 volt batteries tied in to uh, run a 12 volt system which I can run it all night like that no problem and I charge it with a battery charger, a car charger. And I got my uh, controller here and right over there is the SkySync GPS. All I did for alignment was turn the GPS on and pointed it at the moon. And I'm running a 9mm lens. This is that setup with the Kenko 2 power teleconverter. Not too bad. Alright, I think I got this focused. I got the 9mm lens hooked in with the two power teleconverter and it's on DX format. This is about as close as you're gonna get. I'm gonna move it around here and see what we can see. I might turn the ISO up a little bit, make it a little brighter. It's about as good a focus as you're gonna get. This is real high powered magnification. So, with a 5 inch, not too bad. Let's uh, do some less magnified shots of it. Maybe a 25 millimeter. Now here's uh, the 9 millimeter with straight on through, I took the two power teleconverter off and I'm back to FX format, but I took the scope apart and cleaned the gears and everything up and it paid off. Got everything tight. And we got some cloud cover coming again. Try moving it down. Here comes the clouds again. What I'm going to do is probably put a, a 15 millimeter in and we're going to try to find Jupiter. Before I do that, here's the 25 millimeter lens on FX mode and it just completely got clouded. Alright, we're going to try to slew to Jupiter. And there you can see the moons. So let's try seeing how far we can go in. We got a lot of clouds coming through, so it's going to be hard. Pretty good with pure cloud cover. Okay, there's Jupiter with the two power teleconverter on with a 9mm. I don't know if I got it focused real well or not. I'm going to try getting it a little better. Actually, ain't too bad. I'm going to try to center it and go to DX format. 
about as zoomed in as you're gonna get with the Celstron 130 SLT. Like I said, I got the nine millimeter lens on, eyepiece, two power teleconverter, and in DX format. The tracking on this tonight is just phenomenal. I really like this. Video mode with the Nikon D600. All right, I made it down to a six millimeter lens on DX format right now. I don't think I'm gonna get any closer than that. I got a four millimeter, but I don't feel like trying to line it up. I'll try doing some adjustments here, see if I can get the picture a little clearer. All right, I want a little higher frame rate. So definitely see the bands on Jupiter. All right, right here on my ISO 3200 and shutter speeds at 125th of a second. Now you can run prime with that two power uh, Barlow, like I said, but I don't know why somebody would. I got the two power teleconverter hooked to it right now. And there's the setup. I am running prime. And there's the setup. Like I said, uh, I'm running prime with the two power uh, Barlow and then the two power teleconverter and it just isn't the same quality. Right there it's Jupiter at prime in FX mode without the two power teleconverter. ISO is cranked wide open. I can turn the shutter down. There's as much light as I'd be able to get get in right now. Now let's uh, move over to the moon. Alright, now uh, there's the moon full prime with the Barlow on in FX mode pretty sharp so that's what you can expect out of this not too bad actually